Hey, welcome back to Bear Squid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can get the best quality out of your Google Meet meetings every single time. So when you join a Google Meet, there are certain meeting parameters that are used by default. What you can do is you can find out what these are and then adjust them to get the best quality out of Google Meet. Now, let me show you what these are. First thing first, if you go to settings, I wanna show you how we can check these out. There's a new option here, it's called troubleshooting and help. Click on troubleshooting and help. And there's a couple of things that we can see here. So first thing out of troubleshooting, it says, if you notice choppy or distorted audio, or you encounter blurry, jerky, or frozen video, your network might be unstable. Okay, if you're using Wi-Fi, move closer to the router. Now I'm connected to an extender here uh, in this room, okay? And so I can check my uh, internet here. Now, I've got several other members of my family who are also online, okay? Um, I've got kids who are joining online classes, so we've got a lot of uh, activity on the network right now. As long as your network quality is running Anything less than uh, 300 milliseconds, you're fine, okay? Here, I mean, our network is running at 24 milliseconds, which is great, okay? It's, it's pretty much near zero. So if you are experiencing anything, um, variations over 300 milliseconds, you wanna move closer to your router, or what you might wanna do is avoid activities that heavily use your internet connection. So if anyone's gaming, Okay, you've got the PlayStation connected, you're streaming a movie, make sure for that period where you've got your uh, online meeting, you get that person off of that um, meet, that you know gaming stream or whatever it may be. Now, second thing that we can check, is not only your network that dictates the quality of your audio and visuals, okay? If we scroll down here, the system load. Now, let me show you something here. So, if you notice slow response times, choppy audio, or you encounter blurry or frozen video, your system might be overloaded. So, what you might wanna do is close any um, browsers, any browsers that you're not using, okay, uh, or that you don't need to use, and then close other running applications on your computer. Look, right now, the system is idling about 50, between 50 and 60, um, percent okay the system cpu so everything running on the computer shares the cpu processor so if you're going to have a higher usage it means that everything else is going to run a bit slow so what we want to do let me show you this is by the way so if i open up several tabs let's open up loads of tabs here okay classroom i've got some tabs open up here you're going to see that the system's going to start slowing down incredibly okay it's going to start slowing down here let me just throw up some of these. Um... Let's go back to Google Meet and I'll show you the system. It's gonna have, probably have a spike here. Okay, so we've gone, you know, we've gone up to the 80s now. We've gone up to the 80s. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an external monitor as well. So check this out. I'm gonna use an old iPad as an external monitor. Okay, so I've wired in an external monitor, and if I go here, look at my system resources. I've nearly, I've nearly maxed out to 100. This is gonna create a heavy load in your system, and as a result, your meeting is gonna run a lot more choppy. You're gonna have a lot of lag in it as well. If I close all these browsers, okay, the extra, sorry, tabs. In fact, I don't even need this external display, so let's go ahead and take off that external display. You can see here, there's a massive drop in activity. We've gone back down to 50%, okay? And it's gonna start idling at 50% as well, okay? Which is fantastic for your connection. Now, a couple of more things that, look, see, we had a, a massive spike as well in the network when we started opening up more tabs, okay? We, were, we shot over, um, the 300 millisecond mark. So reduce your um, uh, browser tabs, the, the system load, and try to reduce the, the load on the network, okay? So if you've got other users using the internet, make sure you try to reduce the load on the internet. Now, a couple of more things, we don't stop there. If you go back to settings, I said there's a few parameters that are set by default. Your audio parameters, okay, and your video parameters. Now, if you are fortunate enough to have the enterprise uh, account. Okay, noise cancelling. If you put the noise cancelling filter on, it actually uses a lot of system resources and that would slow down um, your video and audio feedback and you'll end up getting a very choppy video. So that's one thing to keep mind of. And another thing is video. Now look at this, my scent resolution is set at a maximum of 720p. If, my, if I know that my network is gonna have a heavy load and I've got my kids or someone else uh, using the internet, I might wanna go down and set this to standard. So set it at 360p, 
okay? Or you can set it at auto. I'm gonna set mine at 360p to make sure that my um, video feed is not choppy and laggy. Also, the received resolution. Now I can set this to um, standard definition, okay? Or standard definition with one video at a time. If, I, if my internet was really bad, I could go ahead and just do this as audio. So even if my members, okay, do have uh, their video on, I am not gonna receive the video feed. I would just receive the audio feed. Now, if I know my network is running really slow, okay, or I've got many users on the network, I might wanna do that. So for now, I'm just gonna set it as standard definition because I don't need um, the incoming feed to be super high definition. So I can do that. So these parameters are gonna ensure that, of course, you're gonna get the best connection rate from Google Me on your device, okay? Here I'm using a MacBook Air. If you found that helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you think of a colleague who is struggling with this stuff, then this might help them out. Share it with them. Uh, you might actually lighten their load. Uh, and consider subscribing if you're interested in more EdTech tutorials. And as always, I'll catch you the next one.